Hello and welcome back to the Gibbon Road Smoke Shop Vape Channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Smock S-Priv Kit. I'm going to try to keep this video nice and short today. That way we're not taking up a large amount of time for our viewers. Um, as far as functionality, this device is very similar to the Smock Mag Kit. So if you've used one, um, a lot of the functions are pretty much the same on the mod itself. I'm still going to go over them today. Uh, that way you know how to use this mod in particular. It's pretty easy to use and uh, it comes with the Smock Big Baby light up tank, which is pretty cool. It lights up or uh, it illuminates and glows uh, whatever color bands that you have on the tank at the time so you can change the colors around if you'd like. I didn't have a video last week. I apologize for that. I was over in Portland with my girlfriend for her birthday. Um, I'm, trying, I'm gonna try to have at least one video out per week and if I don't have anything to make a video on, say we don't have any new products or new e-juices or anything like that, then I will make other videos on other miscellaneous things, um, which you'll probably see here in the near future. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, take this down to the table and I'll show you everything that comes in the box and how to use this guy. Okay, here it is, the Smock S-Priv Kit. As you can see, it's got the little skull design on it. The eyes light up, which I will show you here soon. Um, it's got the HD display on it and the Big Baby Beast light-up tank. Now in the box, you're going to get your S-Priv mod itself. You'll get your Smock Big Baby light-up edition tank. You get your standard USB charger. Get two vape bands. You'll get 1.15 ohm octuple coil head range 50 to 110 on the wattage best range is 60 to 80 watts and probably one of my most favorite parts about the smock big baby light up edition tank is it comes with quite a few other colors uh, that you can mix and match with to change the way the tank illuminates right now it comes stock with the red bands in it um, but if you want to change it to like blue or purple or white or yellow um, you can change it and I'll show you how to do that quickly here in a bit. Finally, you'll get your battery safety card and Smock S-Priv Kit user manual. It's got everything in it there. Oh, and you do get one replacement glass for the guy in case you bust the one that's on it already. Alright, let's go ahead and pop some batteries in this guy here. You can see on the bottom, I don't know how well you can see that. You can see positive down on one side, negative down on the other side and like so and there it is to turn this guy on right after you put the batteries in there's five clicks on the side button here it'll light up as you can see the whole side of the mod here is the whole button itself so you just squeeze it to use it and you can see the eyes are lighting up on the skull there the screen it actually resembles the top hat of the skull, which is kind of cool actually. But as you can see, the screen is very similar to the Smock Mag Kit screen. Right now it's only set at 2 watts, I'll adjust that later. You have your ohms, watt mode on normal strength hit, your voltage, and your puff counter there. You also have your A and B battery life for each individual battery, which should be the same all the time. To navigate through the menu, three clicks on the fire button bring you to the first menu. And here you'll be able to change the type of metal that you're using. Memory mode, stainless steel, nickel, titanium. Most people are going to be using wattage. That's what I use. I just leave it on watts. If you hold the fire button, you can switch down to the wattage here and adjust it, which I kind of find pointless because you can do that from the main screen itself. If you hold it again, you can change the preheat function to high or hard, soft, and normal. Uh, I just leave mine on normal. One single click on the side will bring you to the next menu. When you're at the puff menu, you can change your limit on how many puffs you want to limit yourself a day. Uh, I think it goes all the way up to like 999 or something like that um, in case you want to limit how much you vape in a day once it reaches that number that's when it will stop I just leave mine on never if you hold the fire button again 
you can clear the puffs. There's a two puffs on it already for some reason. If you just click right, it'll say yes and it clears it. Another single click on the fire button, it'll bring you to the screen settings, which in here, you can change the color on the home screen. Um, since the device is red, I'm just gonna leave it on the red setting. If you hold fire button, it'll switch down to screen time. You can change the amount of time that the screen stays on. I usually leave mine on about 30 seconds, so we'll switch that down to the 30 here. And another long click will bring you over to the auto lock. I would just leave it unlocked because if it's locked, um, anytime you set the device down over a certain period of time, it will uh, lock itself. So every time you go to use it, you'll have to unlock the device, which to me will get kind of frustrating. Um, it might be nice to you, to those of you who don't uh, vape as frequently as I do. We're gonna leave it off. Another single click on the fire button, and bring you to this menu here, and this is your LED settings. You can change the color of the eyes on the skull here. You have multiple colors. They have the blue, green, and red right here. And then they have the rainbow. And we'll just leave it on the rainbow. It's up to you. Uh, long hold on the fire button. You can change the light up style to a fade. You can change it to flash. As you can see, the eyes are flashing different colors. I'm just going to leave it on fade because I think that looks cooler. Another long hold on the fire button and your light up style. You can have it always on like it is now. Um, I think it'll, I don't think it should waste too much battery life. Um, it's up to you if you just wanna leave it on all the time or not. Oops, and get back to that setting again. Also, you can just turn it off completely if you want. You can have it on when the screen is on only and then you can have it on vaping on, which uh, every time you vape on it, then the eyes will light up. But just for the looks for now, we're gonna leave it on always on. Another single click on the fire button, you can change the power off and on at this menu screen. You click that one, it'll leave it on. If you click that one, it'll turn the device off, but we're gonna leave it on. So one single click, there it is. Brings you back to the main menu there. Um, like I said, it's a very similar, or very easy device to use. Uh, Batteries going on the bottom here like you saw earlier. You have your 510 connection here on the top spring-loaded pin inside of it. But let's go ahead and fill up this tank here. Before we go ahead and put the tank onto the mod, I'm going to show you how to change out the O-rings real quick. It's, uh, it's very easy to do. Um, after I show you a quick rundown of the tank, you're going to have your, your mouthpiece up here on the top, which is on pretty tight, so I'm just going to leave it on for now. Uh, to fill up the guy, you can kind of see it says open right there with the arrow. It's very similar to all the other smock tanks. And it goes inside that little hole right there. And that's your air airflow shaft, so don't get any juice in there if you can help it. A little bit won't hurt it. It may spit in your mouth a little bit when you vape on it for the first couple hits. Um, but just put it in that hole, and then the tank slides shut like so. You got your airflow on the bottom here, which you can see right through. Whatever you adjust on one side, it'll be exactly the same on the other sides. It'll stop when it's fully shut. Personal preference, I like to leave mine all the way open. Let's go ahead and twist apart the tank here now. All right, here's the top top piece here. Here's your glass set on the side. And here's the base with the coil head in it. Uh, the coil head that comes pre-installed in this guy, if I can see it, is the Baby Q2 coil, which unfortunately we don't carry at the moment. We carry the M4s, which don't uh, vape as, at as high as of a wattage. Um, we're going to try to get the Q2s in as soon as we can. Um, the range on this guy is 40, 40 to 80 watts. And then the best range on it, it's 55 to 65 but um, to save this coil I'm gonna go ahead and take this coil head out and then I'll put the uh, put a different one in that I'm gonna use for today's video the coil I'm going to be using in today's video is the the baby t6 coil head it's got the three holes on the top there's two coils in each hole adding up to six total coils 
Uh, it's got a range of 40 to 130 watts. I usually keep it about 60 to 70, but it's all up to you personally. Um, I'm going to show you how to change out the O-rings now in case you want to change out the O-rings. For the sake of this video, um, let's go ahead and use the blue ones. Why not? To take the O-rings out, you're going to have your bottom one right here. It's rather difficult to take out, so you might need like a toothpick or something. I've done it a bunch of times, so I can just use my fingers. So there's the bottom O-ring. You can see that the, uh, the base has a white strip in there, and underneath that strip is a bunch of LED lights, and that's what illuminates the band that's on it, um, making it glow that certain color. Um, you're going to want to change the O-ring on the top portion too, which is up here. You usually just pinch like I just did there and pull it off. Oh yeah, another thing too is um, I'm assuming because it has LEDs in the base of the tank itself, for those of you who like to wash out your tanks and stuff, um, I probably wouldn't wash the base of your tank. If you had to, be very, very careful to not get any water on these LED lights here. Um, I normally just use a paper towel and stick it underneath the, where the coil would be there and clean it out really good. Um, yeah, just be careful with that part. Okay, we got the blue bands out. The bigger band. This is one that's going to go on the base of the tank. It just slides on like so. Get it all the way in the place, and you can see it's got a little bit of a lip on it. It's like use your nail or something just to tuck that down in there nice and good. Make sure it's nice and snug in place there. Okay, now you can see that bottom blue O-ring is on all the way. For the top one, you're going to have the smaller band here. It's pretty simple. You just slide it over the top here. And there you go. Right in place. That top one's a lot easier than the bottom one. I'm going to go ahead and put the tank back together here. Oh wait, before we put the tank back together, let's go ahead and prime the coil with the e-juice we're going to be using. For the juice we're going to be using today, we're going to be using the Marshmallow Man 3 from Marina Vapes. Uh, their Marshmallow Man line series is, is a good one. Um, I believe this is the first one that they made in strawberry. It's just a... Uh, the flavor is pretty self-explanatory. It's marshmallow. Strawberry marshmallow. Um, I really like this flavor. It's got a real sweet taste to it. Uh, this is the one we're going to be using today. So let's open up the tip here, or open up the cap. Go ahead, prime up our coils here. We hit all these cotton slots on the side with a little bit of e-juice. And then we'll hit the top of the coil heads here with a little bit of e-juice. Like I've said in previous videos, you don't have to prime the coil. Uh, if you put in a brand new fresh coil and the cotton inside of it's dry and say you just fill up the tank straight up, uh, that there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. Just let it soak for about a good 5 to 10 minutes. That way all of that cotton inside of the coil head can get nice and saturated. Otherwise you might burn the coil head and you don't want that. Alright, we got the tank screwed back together here. Let's go ahead and slide open the top now. Fill it up all the way most of the way anyways. You can fill it all the way up to the top if you want. I'm just going to fill it up almost to the very top. Close the lid off. Then uh, take our mod here. Screw it on. There we go. Alright, now the whole tank is set up. It's still set at the 5 watts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this up to probably about 60. Ooh, went way past the 60 mark. Get it set to that 60 watts. Um, I actually changed the colors of the eyes to blue. That way it matched up the tank when it lit up. Um, it's set to vaping on. That way every time I press a button to start vaping, the eyes will glow. And look at that. You can see the tank glows up nice and bright. Let's cover it a little bit more. It really brights up, lights up pretty bright. It's a really cool device, nice and solid, um, really sturdy. Um, I haven't really gotten to use one all that much yet, um, but let's go ahead and uh, bring this back up to FaceTime, and I will show you uh, how this guy vapes. Okay, now 
We're back up to FaceTime. Uh, tank's all ready to go. Go ahead, take a couple rips off it, and show you exactly how well it works. Oh yeah, that works really well, and I only have it set at 60 watts with a T6 coil head in it. But anyways, that's about it uh, for the Smock s priv kit. Uh, like I said, as far as functionality, it's similar to uh, Smock Mag Kit and probably other Smock mods um, I haven't gotten my hands on to yet. Um, I really like that the eyes light up on it and the tank will illuminate. I think it adds a cool effect to, to uh, the vape pen. Um, other than that, uh, I think we're pretty much done. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day.